Silver sulfadiazine cream is used to help prevent and treat wound infections in patients with serious burns. It works by stopping the growth of bacteria that may infect an open wound, decreasing the risk of the bacteria spreading to surrounding skin or causing a serious blood infection. It belongs to a class of drugs known as sulfa antibiotics. It should not be used on premature babies or on newborns during the first two months of life due to the risk of serious side effects. It is important to follow your doctor's instructions for the daily dosage and the best time to apply the cream. Before you start using silver sulfadiazine, it's important to read the patient information leaflet from your pharmacist. This medication is only for use on the skin, and you should avoid using it around your eyes unless directed by your doctor. Your healthcare professional will clean the wound and remove dead tissue to aid in the healing process. You should apply the medication to the wound using sterile technique, as directed by your doctor, usually one to two times daily. The layer of medication should be about 1 16th of an inch thick, and the wound should be covered with the cream at all times. Dressings may be applied over the cream, but only if needed. If some of the cream rubs off the wound, reapply it immediately. The cream should also be reapplied immediately after hydrotherapy. Treatment usually continues until the wound is completely healed or until the site is ready for skin grafting. It's important to use this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it, and to help you remember, use it at the same time each day. If your condition lasts or gets worse, be sure to tell your doctor. Some common side effects of using silver sulfadiazine cream include pain, burning, or itching of the treated skin. The skin and mucous membranes, such as the gums, may also become blue or gray in color. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it is important to notify your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Many people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to contact your doctor right away if you experience any serious side effects, such as signs of infection, easy bruising or bleeding, signs of anemia, signs of kidney problems, signs of liver problems, or mental-slash-mood changes. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's important to seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed here. If you are in the U.S., you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before using silver sulfadiazine cream, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies, especially to sulfa antibiotics. This cream may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other problems, so it's best to discuss this with your pharmacist. Additionally, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have a certain enzyme deficiency, kidney problems, liver problems, or low white blood cell count. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed, as it may be harmful to the unborn baby if used near the expected delivery date. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor before using this medication. It's also uncertain whether this medication passes into breast milk, but similar drugs have been known to harm nursing infants, particularly those who are ill, premature, less than two months old, or who have certain disorders. Therefore, it's best to consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using this medication. When using silver sulfadiazine cream, there are some important things to keep in mind. First, be aware of any potential interactions with other medications or products you may be using. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. This includes prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products. Some products that may interact with silver sulfadiazine cream include skin products containing sodium sulfacetamide, as well as enzyme products used to break down and remove dead skin slash tissue from burns and wounds, such as collagenase, papain, and trypsin. Additionally, some brands of this medication may contain an inactive ingredient called propylene glycol, which can be absorbed and interfere with certain lab tests, potentially causing false results. 
it's important to make sure that lab personnel and all your doctors are aware that you are using this drug. As for the usage of silver sulfadiazine cream, it is typically applied one to two times daily to the affected area. It is important to follow the directions provided by your doctor or pharmacist. The best time to apply the cream may vary depending on the individual's needs and the severity of the condition being treated. Always consult with your healthcare professional for personalized guidance. If this cream is accidentally swallowed, it can be harmful. If someone has taken too much and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it is important to call for emergency medical help. Otherwise, contact a poison control center immediately. In the U.S., the local poison control center can be reached at 1-800-221-222, and in Canada, residents can call their provincial poison control center. It's important not to share this medication with others. Also, avoid smoking or getting close to open flames while using this cream, as it can increase the risk of severe burns. Fabric that has been in contact with the cream, like clothing, bedding, or dressings, can burn more easily and may be a fire hazard. Washing clothing and bedding may help reduce the buildup of the cream, but it won't remove all of it. While using this medication, it's crucial to have lab and or medical tests done, such as white blood cell count, kidney function, and blood tests. Make sure to keep all medical and lab appointments, and consult your doctor for more details on the best way to use this cream. If you forget to use the cream, apply it as soon as you remember. It's important to follow your doctor's instructions and keep the cream on the wounds at all times. When using the US product, store it at room temperature. For the Canadian product, store it between 46 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 to 25 degrees Celsius. To make sure the medication remains sterile, the 250 and 500 gram jars from Canada should be thrown away 24 hours after opening, while the tubes should be discarded 7 days after opening. Remember to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. Do not dispose of medications by flushing them down the toilet or pouring them into a drain unless you have been specifically instructed to do so. Instead, properly discard this product when it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this properly. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.